is good. Ooh, this ponytail is going to bother me. <laughs> okay, framed right. Like, perfection? What are you doing? Perfection? Have you lost your mind? <sighs> anyway, there we go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. I've been feeling in the different kind of mood this year so far, and I'm excited about it. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys is, oh, do I have them up here? I gotta go get them, hold on. I wanted to show you my little stickers. I don't know if I've shown these in a video before, I may have, but Mia kind of drew me, like, I don't, it's, it's not my logo. My logo is my logo and I love my logo. But Mia kind of drew me with my OG Monstera. And it's literally me. Like these are my pink Crocs. These are my cropped green pants I wear in the summer all the time. I have a pink breast cancer awareness shirt. Old hair up in a bun. Ooh, it's the old me. Oh, imposter. I thought this was really cute. So I made it a sticker and I just ordered a whole pack of them. So I put them on my Etsy shop. They're on there if you guys want to order one. It's five bucks a sticker. Support my channel. I don't know if you want one. They're vinyl, so they go on everything like water bottles, laptops, pencil cases, notebooks, you name it. That aside, I wanted to show you something that I picked up at the store the other day. I went to Paper Source, which is probably one of my favorite stores. Like, I love everything in there. And it's where I get my Cavallari, Cavallini, Caval. Cav puzzles the puzzles I've been doing I don't know if you've seen those recently but I'm currently working on the arboretum one which is just a whole mess of trees and it's a pain in the ass because it's all like the same color who it's really rough I'm rambling so I found this at paper source look at this it is paper potted plants and I thought that we could just chat and make these today like this is a legit fry deck I was I was impressed when I saw that and let me look it up I think they're both this might be a taniki but it's too short and stubby to be a taniki let's look up Clathia anyway I was so excited when I saw this they actually have a lot of planty things so I was like this would be a really cute video to make the stromanth or stromanthi however you say it that's what that one is and then this one down below uh, let's do white variegated. Is it the white fusion? Ah, it's the white fusion, Calathea white fusion. At least that's what I think it is. It does look like it could resemble a taniki, a ficus, but it's too short and stubby to be a ficus. Like a ficus I feel would have more of a stem. Anyway, your girl's gonna get some Calathea today since I can't keep a real one alive to save my soul. Anywho, on the back it says that this all includes pre-cut and pre-printed pre-cut shapes, floral wire and floral wire and floral tape. Um, you just need it like a glue stick, double-sided tape, transparent tape, or scissors. So I have some magic tape here and my trusty dusty scissors. Literally dusty because I never use scissors because I don't craft anything. And then it uh, shows you how to make the pot and everything. Like these are pots that we're gonna make too. So here's the instructions on the back and we're gonna see how well your girl can follow some instructions. They seem pretty intricate. Like, look at, look at, hmm, we may be here a while. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. So how you guys doing? How's your week been? TGIF. I always used to say like, ooh, TGIF, thank God it's Friday until I became a wedding photographer. Then it was like, ah, oh, shit, it's Friday. Ooh, pretty illustrations here. Also, do not look at my nails. And now that I said that, I ruined it and you won't be able to not look at my nails. Okay, so there's two pages of Little Miss White Fusion. And then it looks like we have one page of the stromanth. I feel like I have to say stromanthi. 
I mean, even though it might not be pronounced that way. There's two pages. I think there's two pages of everything. Yes. Look at how beautiful this is. Right? Am I right? That's a fry deck? We're going to call it a fry deck because that's what it looks like to me. Okay. Two pages. Um, okay. This is pot number one, terracotta color. Then we have... Ooh, this paper is thicker than this paper. This is more like a cardboardy paper. This looks like it might be ceramic color. So, ooh, we have to decide like what are we putting in what pot? And this is a green pot. I don't think I'd ever buy a green pot. You want a green pot with a green plant? Okay, so maybe the stromanthi should go in the green since it's less green. Ooh, decisions, decisions. All right, and here's the instructions. Oh, and then we have our, uh, what is this even called? Floral wire and floral tape. Floral tape. All of you florists out there are like, yes, Nicole, it's just tape that's green. So the first thing to do is to punch out all the shapes and sort the leaves by shape and color. Gotcha, easy enough, right? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put these pots away for now. And we're gonna aim the camera down at my desk so you could see exactly what it is I'm doing. We're going down, down, baby. Let's punch these out. How cute is that? That's friggin' adorable. Wish my leaves looked that pretty. <laughs> I will say I do kind of wish that the leaf had like, they kind of made the shape a little different just so it had some diversity to the leaves because as we all know, all of our leaves are not the same size, shape. So it would have been nice, you know, maybe maybe add a little like crispy edges, you know, normalize a dying leaf. Maybe you throw an orange one in there. We have all three sets of leaf patterns and I will say if I had to cut these out myself that would have been a serious problem like I would have probably quit halfway through it so <laughs> the fact that they were pre-cut is nice so now the next step it says to pair each leaf with this matching back as numbered on backs of leaves oh okay so each leaf has a number and you're gonna pretty much put it on the floral wire and then match it so that the back's not showing. So really we only have eight leaves per plant. So there's a number on the back that says pretty much 1A. Where are you 1A? Where did you go? Okay, there's no 1A. Wait, did I read that wrong? A oh, 1A with 1B, 2A with 2B. Wow, Nicole, just freaking. You can do this. This is not, this is not rocket science, honey. You can do it. Okay, we got 1A and we got 1B. And now pretty much we're gonna put them on the wire and close them together. So I just wanna make sure that that's what I'm supposed to do. Apply adhesive to the back numbered side of one leaf in each pair. Set wire in center of leaf almost to the tip. Okay. And then sandwich them together. You know what? <sighs> I should have brought my Mod Podge up because I don't have, I don't have a glue stick. Is there a glue stick in here? Tia, do you have a glue stick? Um, maybe I can do it with tape. I can do it with tape. Let's straighten these bad boys out. Okay, so you wanna place the wire all the way up to the top of the leaf, pretty much. And if you have a glue stick or Elmer's glue, now's the time to use that. But I'm just gonna use tape. So I'm gonna tape this onto the wire. And then as far as the other leaf goes, I don't know how I'm gonna tape that, but stay tuned, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> 
Okay, so just a little piece of tape right there. See that? That works for, you know, for that. But like to, to tape the other one, maybe two little circles of tape. Here, we'll do this. I feel like this would be, no, let me pick this up a little bit. Okay. I feel like this would be more smooth than using like Elmer's glue. Cause I feel like Elmer's glue, this is just paper. So it might bleed through. So I did like two little tape, two little tape circles. <laughs> and then we'll just put this over it. Oh, gotta line it up better, Nicole. Line it up. This is why we don't do arts and crafts. Okay. Okay, it looks cute. It's working. Okay. Let's see. So if you if desired, you can fold the leaves in half for a more dimensional leaf, or you can leave the leaves flat. Okay, so I'm probably gonna mess with the leaves a little bit just to make them look a little bit different. We'll see how well we do this here. But pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape them together once you're done creating each leaf. And then we're gonna make the pot. So let's do all six leaves. And then, is it six leaves or eight leaves? Eight leaves, and then come back. So watch me do this. Okay, we have all of our leaves here. So now we're going to tie them together and kind of like mess with them. Well, not yet, but we'll mess with them in the once we have them in the pot. I'm gonna stagger them when I put them together so that some are obviously longer than the other ones. And then we can just kind of mess with them and go from there. I will say that this tape is not sticky at all. Like it doesn't, I feel very little adhesive on it. I'm not even really sure like what side has the sticky part. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it sticks together as you're doing it. Oh yeah, I think it does. So probably so it doesn't ruin the stems of real flowers. Oh yeah, it does stick. Nice. Okay, so let's put these aside. Now we're gonna assemble the pot. So I think I'm gonna put this white fusion in the pink pot. So first let's punch this out. The light in this video is, wow. Um, okay, so we are going to apply tape to angled tab on pot D. Okay, so in the picture, it shows you pretty much what to do. You just wanna put like double stick tape there. So I'm gonna have to do like another little circle tape thing because I don't have double stick tape. <laughs> and then um, here you fold along these lines, these little tabs, and then it goes right into the pot. And then it has this little cutout where you stick your leaves in through. So I have to punch that out but this should, uh, should work pretty well. And if not, then we're just, you know, tape as a backup. So we're gonna place that on top where the tabs are inside of the pot so you don't see any tabs on the outside. And then with a piece of tape, I'm gonna go in and just kind of tape it to the side. It might be a little hard to get your hand in there, but honestly, I think that's the best way to do it. This way the, the tape's not showing on the outside of the pot. 
Not that that would really matter, I don't think, to be honest. It's a little tricky to get it in there, but it's okay. You can also tape it on the outside of the pot. Like if you were to just tape it like that, you can do that too. I'm not a perfectionist, but those of you that are, are probably just like, oh my God, I can't handle it. <laughs> okay, so now we have our little, our little terracotta pot. I mean, this could probably have been done way better. Um, like without this being open, if you had like a glue stick. So maybe get a glue stick. Okay, and now the next thing we do is so you know what, like, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that this is, this is a really cute idea and this is a good base, but I'm thinking once I'm done with this of sticking this into a real terracotta pot and I think it'd be so much cuter in a real pot. And it even says it on the instructions that you can do that. So, you know, do, do whatever your little heart desires. That's what I say. Try to get these stems in here. Well, that's pretty easy. I just feel like this pot is not gonna hold up the weight of these stems. And I was absolutely, absolutely right. So let's see if we can do this by kind of moving the stems a little bit. This tape isn't sticking that well either. Uh, I want some to be longer. There we go. Okay. Let's retape this quickly. Okay, let's put these back in here. And I mean, honestly, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to maneuver the stems to where it kind of balances the weight. So like some stems going this way, some stems going this way and then just trim off any that are like coming out of the bottom of the pot. I really wanna to try to put this together to show you that you can do it with these paper pots. But honestly, I would probably just put it in my own pot if you have a planter. Maybe once we move the leaves, it will balance the weight out. <laughs> Okay, well, it, def it definitely balanced the weight. So you can definitely use this pot. I'm gonna trim off the extra wires at the bottom so they don't like show. Looks like roots coming out of the bottom of a drainage hole. <laughs> there we go. And then you just kinda wanna mess with your leaves. We got one that's, you know, about to give us some leaf droppage there. That one's on its way out. Very realistic. <laughs> This is so cute. This, you know what this would be cute for? This would be cute for like a kid, a project for a kid to do. Like if, if you love gardening and you love house plants and you just kind of want to like do a project with kids, this is a great little, little thing to do with them because it was pretty easy. And on the package, it says at the top here, skill level, it says three intermediate. Y'all, um, if I could do it, <laughs> you could do it. It's cute though. I think I'll just stick this into a terracotta pot and have this downstairs in my desk. It's adorable. I love it. Th a couple of these are kind of like aggravating me because they look leggy, but y'all, it's realistic. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to whiz through these other two and then I'll give you my review at the end and we'll see if this is worth the money and what I paid for it. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this one. I think that the leaves need to sit closer to the pot's base because with stromanthes, they 
I mean, they do get big, but I'm only working with eight leaves here, so I feel like they should be sitting closer to the base instead of taller. Um, and it's making it a little hard to balance the pot out without putting them like flat out like that. Once I put them in my other pots, my terracotta pots, I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, I should be able to mess with the leaves more because the pot is just too light weight for the weight of the leaves. But I mean, it's cute. It's really cute. I think that they're, it's a pretty illustration. I take back what I said about the leaves being all the same shape. They're very, they look very similar. They all look like they're the same shape. But as I was pairing the front sides to the back sides, I did notice that like some of the tips of the leaves curve out a little more than others. And like some leaves are a tid bit smaller than others. So it is important to pair it with the correct like corresponding leaf, but it, it could have been a little bit more different in shape and sizes. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go on to the fry deck, which I think is gonna be my favorite. it's cute and let me give you my review really quickly because if you didn't know my clean leaves is a review channel now oh snap 2022 sushi okay so overall i really like these i think this is a really cute alternative to real plants i mean if you have a space and you want like a little conversation piece this is really cute. You could talk about how you made them and if you do them with your kids that would be even more fun. I do recommend putting them in regular terracotta pots or ceramic pots, whatever you have laying around. These would probably be comfortable in like a three inch, four inch pot. Editing Nicole here. I completely forgot to mention that this package, you can purchase it at Paper Source and it's $16.95. So I completely think that the price is worth it for these cute little plants, especially if you're gonna do a project with your kids or you're gonna gift it. I think it's very reasonable. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. I will say that a couple things would have made it better. One, this is entirely too much floral tape. Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this now. Um, anybody need any floral tape? Florists, hit me up. Um, this is a lot of tape. You definitely didn't need that much tape at all. And it didn't really have much adhesive to it. Like some of the tape started coming undone as I was putting them in the pots. I feel like regular tape would have been fine or even just twisting the floral wire together would have sufficed. You really didn't need this. Um, I understand using it for real flor flowers though. And the reason it doesn't have adhesive is because you don't wanna put that on the on the flower stems. But anyway, the actual floral like wire could have been stronger. I feel like for the weight of the paper and the size of the leaves, it could have been a little bit thicker and it probably would have been more stable and you you could mold them a little bit more. I do like the fact that like once you put the wire in the leaf, you can pretty much bend it and do whatever you want with it. I like that. If I had designed the kit, which I would not have because I don't have this much creativity anywhere in my bloodstream. Uh, I probably, like I said, would have made the leaves a little bit more different sizes and maybe a little bit more rough around the edges for some. I know that's not going to sell in a store. People are going to be like, is that a dead leaf or like a leaf with like some, <laughs> some browning on the edges? But that's what makes it look real, right? So these do not look anywhere near real. But the illustrations are really pretty. I mean, they really are. And whether or not this is a Calathea White Fusion or a Ficus Taniki, uh, whether this is a Stromanthe and whether this is a Frydeck, I don't know because the names of the plants are not on the packaging. That could have been something else that you do different there, Paper Source. All in all, I think it's really, really cute. I think this would make a really cute 
like gift to a plant person. Um, maybe somebody that's more arts and craftsy than someone like me. <laughs> but this didn't even take me an hour to do. And I honestly, guys, I'm not creative. I don't have that like art, creative bone structure in my body. So this was easy for me to do. But anyways, um, that's about it. I'm gonna end this with showing you what they look like in real pots. And I really hope you like this video. It was fun for me to do. Finding little things like this in the stores is always kind of cute. And I think there's going to look cute downstairs in my office area. And I'll remember doing them. And I'll have a video to remind me of it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I want you to stick around. So if you're not already subscribed, <sighs> makes me kind of sad.